Mastering Cybersecurity Automation Someone in our organization is secretly sleeping on crypto-jacking threats. Who within our organization is responsible for driving the automation of the process of identifying and responding to crypto-jacking and other types of crypto malware, thereby optimizing our incident response and minimizing the impact of these threats on our systems and data? The responsibility for driving the automation of the process of identifying and responding to crypto jacking and other types of crypto malware lies with a multifunctional team that spans across various departments within the organization. This team is headed by the Chief Information Security Officer CISO, and comprises representatives from the following departments. 1. Security Operations Center SOC. The SOC team is responsible for monitoring and analyzing security event logs to identify potential crypto jacking and crypto malware threats. They play a crucial role in developing and fine-tuning the rules and algorithms used to detect these threats. 2. Incident Response IR, team. The IR team is responsible for responding to identified threats and incidents. They work closely with the SOC team to ensure seamless handovers and escalations of detected threats. The IR team develops and maintains the incident response playbooks, which outline the procedures for responding to crypto jacking and crypto malware threats. 3. Threat Intelligence T, team. The T team is responsible for gathering, analyzing, and disseminating threat intelligence related to crypto jacking and crypto malware. They provide contextual information about the threats, such as tactics, techniques, and procedures. TTPs, Indicators of Compromise, IOCs, and Threat Actor Attribution. This information is used to inform the development of detection rules and incident response playbooks. 4. Automation Team The automation team is responsible for developing, testing, and deploying automation scripts and playbooks that enable the identification and response to crypto jacking and crypto malware threats. They work closely with the SOC, IR and T teams to ensure that automation aligns with the organization's incident response policies and procedures. 5. Network and Endpoint Security Teams These teams are responsible for implementing and maintaining the security controls and tools used to detect and respond to crypto jacking and crypto malware threats. They work with the automation team to ensure that automation scripts and playbooks are integrated with these tools and controls. The CISO provides overall strategic direction and oversight to the team, ensuring that the automation effort aligns with the organization's cybersecurity strategy and goals. The CISO also ensures that the team has the necessary resources, budget, and support to successfully drive the automation effort. In terms of specific roles and responsibilities, the following individuals play key roles in driving the automation of crypto jacking and crypto malware response. The SOC manager is responsible for overseeing the development and deployment of detection rules and algorithms. The IR team lead is responsible for developing and maintaining incident response playbooks. The threat intelligence lead is responsible for providing threat intelligence to inform detection rule development and incident response. The automation engineer is responsible for developing, testing, and deploying automation scripts and playbooks. The network security engineer is responsible for implementing and maintaining network security controls used for detection and response. The endpoint security engineer is responsible for implementing and maintaining endpoint security controls used for detection and response. These individuals, led by the CISO, work together to drive the automation of crypto jacking and crypto malware response ensuring that the organization can identify and respond to these threats in a timely and effective manner.